Okay, so today I'm working on a 2016 Ram Eco Diesel, and I'm dealing with a uh, power supply issue to the fuel pump, you know, causing the uh, engine to crank over but not start up. And uh, I found the issue was in the uh, the tip of module, or the totally integrated power module, which is right here before you. Uh, you know, it looks like a simple fuse box, but in all actuality, actually, it's a control module with a circuit board and logic built into it. And uh, unbelievably, and Dodge has been doing this for years, um, instead of having a separate serviceable uh, fuel pump relay, the fuel pump relay is actually built into this electronic module. So it's non-serviceable. And uh, anyway, to get to my point, the, uh, the fuse for the fuel pump, it's right here on the side of the box. So I actually have the fuse removed, but right here next to this uh, 25 amp fuse, this next slot over is a 30 amp fuse. And that's your uh, fuel pump relay. I have it laying here on the battery and you can see it's totally burnt out on the one side. And that's from having a, you know, a poor connection. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of amperage going through that fuse. So um, now that fuse is faulty. I actually replaced, you know, installed a new fuse and I sent the owner on their way. And uh, I was disappointed to have them. They came back, you know, two or three days later with the exact same issue. So at this point I decided, you know what, this, this fuse has to be eliminated or it has to be bypassed. Um, so I decided to bypass not only the internal relay for the fuel pump, the non-serviceable relay in the tip of module, but uh, also that fuse. And now the vehicle has uh, this fuel, this relay over here, this aftermarket relay installed. You can see I marked it, you know, fuel pump with the pin terminal designations on the side um, to help anybody in the future service it. And then now it gets its power from this inline fuse here and I have it tied into this post right here, which is the main power supply for the uh, tip of module. So now as far as uh, what to do, I wrote out, I mean, I'm gonna pull up this uh, tip of module or fuse panel here in a minute. I'll show you a wiring diagram here um, that I drew up. So basically here's the aftermarket relay I installed. And uh, on the magnetic side of the relay, the electromagnet, you know, when that's energized, that pulls, closes this contact between pin 30 and pin 87. And these are standard, uh, you know, Bosch relay uh, pin designations that they've used for many years. But uh, so to make it clear, so on the control side of the relay, um, I have it set up. So pin 85, and these are interchangeable, by the way, 85 and 86, it doesn't matter. The pin 85 I have running to uh, this pink and light green wire. It's on pin 28 of the black connector. Um, I want to stress that you don't want to uh, completely cut that uh, wiring. You don't, have to, you don't want to cut that wire completely. You're, you want to uh, splice into the existing wire. And uh, because that also is the, uh, that's the signal from the uh, ignition to the uh, power train control module to let it know that the ignition is in the on position. So it's very important that you just splice into that. Um, and then on, uh, this is really the ground side of the uh, control side of the relay, but on pin 86, that splices into uh, a brown wire, pin 25 of a black connector. And these connectors, this wiring and the pins I'm talking about, it's all underneath that uh, um, the tip of module or underneath that uh, fuse panel. So this brown wire here, this wire you can cut and uh, you know snip it fairly close to the uh, tip of module on the connector and you're splicing into the, the part of the brown wire that heads towards the body of the vehicle or towards the firewall. And um, let's see, otherwise, and then here's for the, uh, the high amperage side of the relay. So pin 30, I have it set up with an inline, that 30 amp fuse, which I have right here at the tip of my screwdriver. So that's the new 30 amp fuse for the fuel pump. And that runs, I mean, that's 12 volts hot at all times. And again, I have it connected to the uh, large battery cable post on the tip of them. So right there, that's a 13 millimeter knot. 
And then on this side, pin 87, that's gonna be the new power supply going towards the fuel pump, towards the rear of the vehicle. So on that one, there's a dark blue and orange wire. Um, I forgot to designate what pin number that is, but I'll show it to you in a minute. But it's a large heavy gauge dark blue and orange wire. And that's actually the power wire that heads towards the fuel pump. So when you turn the key in the on position, um, you know, it gets power on this side of the relay. Uh, the computer chooses to uh, apply ground to this side of the relay. And that electromagnetic coil, it closes the two, these two contacts, pins 30 and pin 87. And uh, that supplies power to the fuel pump. But so I'll show you, I don't know if I can, uh, to pry up this fuse panel, there's little tabs here. trying to do this with one hand. All right. Oh. Okay. And obviously before you do this, you should disconnect the battery uh, to make sure you don't cause any uh, trouble codes any issues with the electronics or anything like that. But you can see, so the power wire that heads towards the uh, fuel pump, the large heavy gauge blue and dark orange wire, it's right here in this blue connector at the tip of my thumb. And you can see I have it snipped here where it comes out of the uh, tip of module. And that's it right there, the blue and orange wire. And it heads towards the fuel pump right down there. But that is going to uh, pin uh, 87 on the relay and again the power side of that pin uh, 30 is the red wire and that goes to the uh, that fuse there now for the control side of the relay it's pins 86 and 85 and it doesn't matter which one you hook it up to um, they go down to they're both in the same connector uh, right there so it's the only large black connector right here so this connector right here uh, both of those wires are in that uh, connector so you can see um, that's the power wire there see that pink wire right there and right there in the center of this uh, shot that's the uh, solder and uh, heat shrink tubing I applied so you're splicing into that wire you're not completely severing it I mean, it's okay to do it while you're doing splicing into the wire, but um, you're basically just splicing into that wire to get that power. So that's when the key is in the on position, that, that wire is hot. And then uh, on the other side of that control side of the relay, the brown wire, you can see I have it. So this wire right there. Now that wire, I do have cut from that uh, connector. So you can snip it right at the connector, maybe uh, one or two inches away from the connector. And from the relay, you're splicing it into the side of the wire. Here's the factory wire right here. And that leads towards the firewall. So that's what you're doing there. So when the computer sees fit to turn on the fuel pump, um, it grounds that wire. So that wire actually leads to the computer. Um, and that'll be your ground side for the control side of the uh, relay. And that's pretty much it. So, and I'm sorry, I'm actually just finished up the job. Um, it's not too bad trying to move these connectors. Just take your time. There's a, oh, right here at the tip of my thumb, there's a release tab. And then this whole thing swings down. But you'll figure it out once you get to it. It's, it's not too bad. But, uh, you know, undo most of these connectors. The color coordinated so there's blue green uh, gray and then black but for this we're only concerned about this the blue connector and the black connector but you can undo the other ones if that makes it easier to move the uh, tip of module or the fuse box out of your way that's pretty much it so now now this truck has a serviceable fuel pump relay over here and then uh, this is now the, in, the fuse for the fuel pump. So it makes it a lot more serviceable and 
bottom line it makes it more reliable um, now as far as I know there's nothing wrong with the, uh, the fuel pump relay that's built into the tip of the module but you know with this the damage connector here for the fuse I just decided you know what just bypass the entire thing and be done with it so but yeah so if you come across a burnt uh, fuse or maybe a fuse that keeps popping or maybe you're getting no power to that fuse um, you know do this bypass get rid of that altogether and uh, yeah hopefully that helps somebody out and uh, yeah anyway this truck is back on the road so thanks for watching